All right, so my name's James Wilson. James Stephen Wilson, me exact. The name after my grandfather, uh, who was an orphan. So, you know. I'm from North New Jersey. Represent Brick City all day. School Bricks, aka it's the alias. You know what I mean? What do I do? I create. You know what I mean? That's what we do on a daily basis. You know I mean? Create the universe around us. You know. Lately, more cerebral art. You know what I mean? Try to make you think. You know, a lot of times. Feel like school just teaches you to make something pretty or something figurative, something recognizable, you know what I mean, to the average artist or a person that has no idea how to create or draw or do whatever that may be, whatever the gift, you know, talent, what have you. And then lately, you know, you need to, you know, apply a little more substance. So. A wise man was told me, you know, you have to work with the kids, you know what I mean? And now that, that's how you get most, most of your gigs. As a mentor program or after school program. You know, lately I've been doing a lot of city stuff like with the mural program here in Newark. Uh, you know. And what else do you do? You know what I mean? Me, you know, when it really comes to making money, money, you know, I freelance as an art handler, you know, in and out of the city, whether it be at clients or other galleries or, you know, fairs or venues, you know. And even around Newark as well, whenever they were gonna go hang right now as soon as we're done here. And that's my mother. You know what I mean? It's all her fault. You know, that's what I always tell her. You know what I'm saying? You made me this way. You know what I'm saying? Because I remember <clears throat> we painted because she must have been in art class or something so she had to do a project. And so, you know, I was getting educated by default. You know what I mean? Whatever she was doing, I was doing. You know what I'm saying? And we had to do this whole... She had to do whatever she had to do and then my project became since I loved the... Uh, what do you call it, uh, Robin Hood, we got to paint, you know, I'm like three years, my earliest memories of childhood is painting this whole scene of Robin Hood, like storming the castle type deal, so like in the beginning he's just in the woods, that scene, and then he painted the next, you know, on until the castle's burning down type of thing, you know, on this one canvas, like flat canvas, you know, unstretched piece of canvas, you know what I mean, so yeah, that's how I got into art, Robin Hood. Right now, you know, I did a huge series on the train called the Subway Series, where, uh, you know, just quick 10 minute sketches, you know, depending on the subject of uh, people on their everyday journeys back and forth to work while, you know, I'm on my same journey back and forth to work at the same time. And I'm also doing a 50 South Clinton series. You know, I've been doing a lot of skateboard printing, you know, over at the North Print Shop over on 585 Broad Street here in Newark as well. Lisa Conrad, it's her studio, she just opened it up to the world, and you know, as the print shop, and let people come in there, you come in every Wednesday, you know, you make your little donation and stuff, and you get to get your hands dirty, and create something, you know what I mean, so as an artist, you have to stay busy, you know, I've been doing a lot of entrepreneurial things, like I said, the skateboards, I've been making the I Love Nork hats, you know what I mean, trying to interject a little more self-esteem into the Nork, <clears throat> you know, realizing that, you know, we need to stop looking outward, start looking within, you know what I'm saying? That we got all the answers and shit like that. Oh well, no, I feel that's great, man. We need that energy, you know what I'm saying? A lot of times, it's just about being involved, you know? A lot of times people forget that all art galleries are open to the public, you know what I mean? And so, you know, I, I think that's the main thing that needs to be reiterated when it comes to, you know, you know establishments like that, opening up in the inner city where most people are just completely oblivious to what the hell is going on, you know what I'm saying? And even though it says, you know, open to the public, people just have no concept of what is even going on in there, and, you know, the, the, the inherent fear, you know, the, of, of the unknown just keeps you out of it, and so, you know what I mean, it's just to be more inviting, you know what I'm saying? But it's always a good thing. You know, it's about the, the human experience, you know, it never changes, you know what I mean, all throughout time, just like when they say, have this bright idea, or, or you want to write this book, and odds are there's like, you know, a hundred books written on it already, you know what I'm saying, because, you know, that's the human experience, and it changes, you know, so somewhere, some documentary or whatever, you know what I'm saying, they're talking about once caveman, you know what I mean, they found like one of the early ass caves by the ocean or whatever, and they figured out once like caveman conquered his environment, you know what I mean, same way we conquer our environment now with like money or what have you. But with the way Caveman conquered the environment by, you know, he had plenty of food because he's by the sea. 
You know what I mean? So he had plenty of fish, he had plenty of everything. So he was bored, you know, his stomach was full, he was hungry, he wasn't hungry anymore, I mean, or whatever. And so that's when, once he started to create jewelry and start to decorate things, you know what I mean? That was the, the spark of humanity, you know what I mean? Once we started to create art, you know what I mean? That's the journey, man. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? Where are we going? You know, the infinite now, I'm already there, you know what I'm saying? You know, it's about staying due diligent, you know what I mean? Towards the horizon, you know, always facing the sun, you know what I mean? So, you know, so that, you know, you might, you might veer off course or whatever, but you're always still facing, you still facing the sun, you know what I mean? You're still doing what you do, what you love to do or whatever. That's what's most important, you know? So everything will work out in the end.